Hi everyone, um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope you're all doing well. This video is a very special video, it's about honey. Now, I think everyone has heard about uh, the connection of honey with healing in Islam and the mentions of honey in the Quran, the, the honey bee, and that it's uh, a special creature with uh, you know, a connection to the divine and how um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described that he had basically um, gave the bees knowledge to on where to make their homes and so on and described the substance that is produced by the bees which is the honey uh, especially from their uh, GIT or GI tract, the stomach and so on, is the honey, as, fee, uh, as um, having many healing properties, okay? And there's a whole surah in the Quran, or a whole chapter, called um, the chapter of the bees, or Surah al -Nah. So, in the Sufi tradition, honey has always been present. We, we are also aware of the fact that honey has been around ever since, um, you know, probably humanity started evolving and people started becoming aware of nature and so on. The exact time that it has entered our history is, we are unsure about, but it does have many, um, amazing, amazing benefits. Now, Aside from the physical properties of honey, which can be incredible uh, for the skin, for the hair, for anything really you put it on in the right proportion um, will heal um, and become better. So if some, for example, some people use honey as a face mask um, and that makes the skin supple because, because it's a humectant, it, it collects moisture, it traps moisture. Um, they use it for the hair, for the same reason, but also because there are just so many things within honey itself that are, that, that it is this thing or product called honey. Bees travel thousands of miles to collect nectar from different flowers to um, produce, you know, a very small amount of the honey. So in itself, it's incredible and amazing if you, if you watch the process of how it's made, it truly is all inspiring. Now, one of the main uses that we have, obviously, in Sufism, and, and since it has started to be used there, it was for healing. Um, it started out with healing skin wounds, and then it went into um, coughs and, and, you know, a, a heavy chest. They said that the, you have honey, you drink honey when it's warm, um, uh, the uh, Kitab al-Tibb al-Nabawi or the book of um, the, the, the Prophet والسلام, where he shows different materials and what they can do for the person both describes both, both physical and spiritual benefits of a lot of things for example uh, Muslims use uh, the black seed for the evil eye um, and I am going to do a separate video about it, although I've done the one about the star anise, and there are other, other herbs that we are aware of that can remove the evil eye, but we will do a separate video about that. Um, they, uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu used to use honey even in his eyeliner when he used to apply the kohl to his eyes, just a drop in the whole mixture. I believe, and we believe this, because it was a humectant, it's also an antibiotic and an antiseptic. And it helps from getting eye infections. It's also got a lot of vitamins in it and nutrition, um, and things that will help the hairs of the eyes grow, like the eyelashes grow long. Um, so this was a regular practice for him, for other people at that time. Now, our uses for honey are several and varied, but I'm going to give you examples of some, and I am going to give you um, a couple of recipes for um, a honey, uh, like if you want to use it as a balm, if you want to use it as 
um, like an incense, even that is possible. Um, but I will go into that uh, later on in the video. Uh, now, I mean, I'm going to start by saying that honey, it, it, you can almost feel what it does when you taste it. It's, it's sweet. It is the symbol of sweetness. Honey, uh, sugar, sugar cane, all of these things, whenever someone mentions them, you, you can imagine, already imagine and feel the sweetness. So, we believe that, for example, when it comes to the person themselves, when I wake up every day in the morning, I have a honey jar um, that is organic bee honey that I go and take a small amount of honey with the tip of my index finger on the right hand and taste it. That action alone, when you are in a meditative state and connected to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, especially after you've done your prayers or your morning namaz or if you've meditated, if you are not a Muslim person and you've prayed any kind of prayer or you've meditated and you use this honey, you can uh, you can almost guarantee a, a sweet day ahead of you. It's a lovely a day that will, that will be ahead of you. Full of nice opportunities, nice people, sweet things will happen um, and manifest for you. Now, I have tried this, being, being a doctor myself, very scientific in my approach. I've basically, I've done a small, like, kind of test or like, um, you know, it's it's not by any means a scientific test or anything robust, but I have tried it with myself and when I don't have the taste of honey, and believe me, it's not biased or anything like that or any or any negative kind of thinking, but the, the, it doesn't, the day doesn't look the same as the day that I've tasted the honey on. So now I've made it a happy and, I, and now I understand why my grandfathers and grandmothers will always used to tell me when you wake up in the morning, just a small taste of honey, okay? On your tongue, just like that. <laughs> and I would be like, okay, okay. And I'd be like, well, these people are, you know, I, I don't know what they're talking about. And then I, I started doing it and I realized that there is actually a lot of wisdom in that. Now, only if you um, keep it in the home, it will make and actually pray for um, a sweet environment in the home, it will create that for you, it will help create that energy for you. If you want to, like, sweeten any situation, say you got um, some kind of communication from someone who's been a little bit harsh on you, whether it's um, a friend or anything professional, you can use a bit of honey on the papers or on, on your tongue as you talk to that person, it will, it will help sweeten the situation. Now, honey as well is used, uh, was used in the past to, um, when there was, a, in Sufi traditions, when there was a certificate of marriage and had different bar, uh, parts of it that needed to be bound, it used to be done with honey and glue, which is uh, basically probably the gum Arabic, I think. They, they, they used to use that gum Arabic, which is like a resin and they mixed it with honey so that the marriage is sweet, the marriage is blessed and they used to read on it eyes of the Qur'an pertaining to that. Um, honey is also, as I mentioned before, an antiseptic and an antibacterial so if you take a, a little bit on your fingers, if you've had a small cup and you just cover it with honey, it, you have less chances of, the, of that cup being infected, that wound being infected and so on uh, with bacteria or anything else. Um, it, in alone consuming honey regularly in like uh, amounts that are reasonable um, strengthens, strengthens the immunity, strengthens the body. There's so many different things they can do in the body. As from as another side, as for the spiritual side of things, it's also mi mixed into herbal mixes which are incenses. Like any of the incenses that I've described before, if you add honey to them, it, they will sweeten the outcome and the prayer will be answered in a very nice and sweet way. You'll find that things will manifest for you like that. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's put any, everything uh, we, we, we know has a secret uh, encrypted within it that uh, affects the energy and uh, around us and what we actually manifest into our lives. Now, 
also um, honey has been used often in workings of money drawing and business because the bees are so busy um, the, um, that is reflected in the energy of the honey so when um, we use it we use actually the part of um, the, the, the honey that is um, so they used to say the, 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 the hard parts or the parts that are chunky which is now obviously as you know the bee pollen or um, the, um, the, bee, the, the wax actually that's in the, in the honey or stuff like that. So if you take a part of a beehive with honey in it and then anoint your money with it, the mon money it will multiply if you uh, burn it as an incense with, say, for example, something that draws money, say, um, I've done a video about frankincense before, um, if you add it to that and you burn it as an incense to add money and make your business busy, it definitely works to make it busier. Um, I make uh, different kinds of perfumes I've been taught to make um, that help energy and help so on. Obviously, I'm not selling them on here, but um, I am restricting them to private use for myself and for people. I just give them to them. Um, but some of them, if someone's business is dead, I add a, a, a few bits of um, uh, bee pollen or the actual um, like stuff that is in the um, the hard bits that are in the honey if you get it raw and you get it with the hive um, and this actually creates a very busy atmosphere in the person's business now honey as well is definitely not just the sweet taste when it comes to beauty and looking good and and you know and and feeling good it sweetens the person's look if it's just mixed with water and the face is washed with it without before sleep um or you make a, a mask out of it um a face mask or something like that for, for people who are interested in this kind of thing or a hair mask it definitely adds more beauty and that beauty comes out very sweet especially when you mention the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in it um and read ayahs that are connected to this kind of thing um, if you want to gain money obviously you can read Surah Al-Waqa'ah which I have published now I, I think today I've uploaded all of the Surah um, on the channel so you guys can go through each uh, video of Surah Al-Waqa'ah and then um, you know you have the whole Surah it doesn't necessarily have to be the whole Surah from my experience if you just read one or two verses if you don't have time and you read one or two verses, it will actually uh, work. Okay, um, it's all about, like I've said before, it's all about the person's intentions and what they wish for and so on. Um, what they want, like the intent. And Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said um, in a hadith, the meaning of in English is that um, everyone has. What their, is, what their intent is set upon. And I've always encouraged people to be positive and to help people. The more you help people, the more you pass on the knowledge. And I'm not really saying this to, to get views or subscribers, but if you give this knowledge to people, it adds to your energy um, so much. And it adds a lot of power and, and multiplication. And that's just how the universe is designed. People who are aware of the workings of energy know that good intentions and good deeds always lead to good rewards in this life even. Um, as n and negative ones lead to negative ones. Um, be pure and be, be as pure as the honey is in your heart and be as sweet as it is in your prayers. Always pray for the benefit of everyone and don't focus on yourself. And you'll see that this time and when you do that regularly, the results you'll get are going to be magnificent, okay? Now, honey as well is um, a very, very good um, addition uh, to any um, anything that has to do with children because it will give, first of all, it will not, if you feed the children honey, it will nourish them. Um, if you treat their skin with honey, it will make it better. 
and you think about the future, it will, the nutrition translates into good looks, it translates into strength, it translates into intelligence. So, um, at least in our tradition, the Sufi mothers used to put a little bit of honey on the tongue of the child when they were a baby. I know that certainly my mom did it, or my grandma, um, when I was born, they, they said they did, and to uh, all of the children that we have, and when they grow up, they become really softly spoken, and nice people, and sweet, and, you know, I'm, don't, I'm not uh, talking about myself, I think that, you know, other people, they do notice that with, with people who have, with, have this kind of treatment, since childhood, but obviously it has to be in the discussion of the parents, there has to be medical consultation before before anyone tries any like this, anything like this, don't go just trying it and make sure you use these things safely and exercise your common sense when you use them. Um, there is so much that I can say about honey, but I think um, these things now are very uh, powerful, these bits of information. One last thing is that honey can provide protection and it can keep people together. So if you are in a new marriage or you want to get married, make the habit of having honey at home and eating honey. Because honey is like glue, it's very sticky, it sticks everything together. So you'll be together in a sweet way and not in a nasty way. Also, if you take the honey and put it on your do a little bit on your doors and your windows and on your like uh, corners of the house, it will help protect the inhabitants because it's a very protected thing by the bees. They basically fight to the death of uh, protecting it. So that same energy of protection is transferred within the honey. Um, if, if you guys um, have any questions or any specific things that you uh, think honey might work for or if you've tried this kind of thing and it's worked for you, please comment and let, let us know. Um, I, I, I'm certainly still learning um, and I am someone who learns something new every day but I like to give people the knowledge that I already have. I think it's important for us to share it. So I will leave you all with this. Be blessed and I will finish this with a, with a prayer as usual. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the powers that be in His might, our Most High God, if whoever listens to this video, peace, protection, love, health, wealth and happiness abound. May our uh, videos, may my recordings inspire you all and protect you all and bless you all. And please remember me in your prayers. I'm not about getting praised by anyone else, of course. And they do help. Uh, so please pray for me. Um, we, we need to stick together, all of us, and open our arms to everyone who is coming to us from all around the world. Um, never judge or discriminate. And this has been our way just with love. You approach everything with love and it will be fantastic. Love is the most powerful energy in the universe. And when it's mixed with honey, it's undescribable, unbeatable, unfathomable, unbreakable. Okay, so... I hope this video has helped you all. God bless you all. I love you all and hold you dear. Whoever is subscribed to me, whoever, whoever listens to my video, and I send you all a virtual hug. Thank you so much for your interest. And God bless you all. And may you be blessed for listening to this, liking it, commenting on it, and sharing it. Amen, amen, amen.